Hello friends, this is someone once again from Sony Tech and I'm very excited to be back after being away for some time now. I had a lot on my plates, yes I was a bit busy so I couldn't get time to record. Um, but for this very tutorial, I'm so excited because I'll be walking you through how I built an NPM package for React Native Expo. So it works for Expo and it was built using TypeScript. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, please like this video, please share and comment. Alright, so let's jump right in. Alright, so welcome back okay so this is actually the project i used to create my package so i didn't mention this but uh, my package is actually a modal package so i actually um used the core modal api inside of react native and i made some tweaks to it to make it work for me okay so um let me show you some things i did in my get ignore file um so instead of my get ignore file i added the assets directory here so that it won't be tracked by github and just for best practices okay so let me show you what i mean by for best practices so you see in my um github repo and um, we just see the component the types and blah 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 okay so great and um, this is my main component folder which consists of the code for the modal component and this is my types so let's go to the types so he has made an import of view style from react native and i have this visible type set it to boolean on close title which are all optional and this animation property so this can be gotten from the react native um, documentation when you go to the models api side um essentially yes that's it and i exported my interface okay so you see my component um directory i did some imports let me clean this this isn't really important okay so great so i imported my interface and so this is what i have here and i set the initial animation type to slide so you see that when i get rid of this and i press ctrl space bar so everything shows fine and the page styles to the same and i set the initial opacity to animated value so i'm setting it to zero so i got this one from react native too as well okay so i have this use effect here where i do a check to see if the model is visible if it's not visible it runs this and there's this one to which is use native driver so this is also part of the animated um, api in react, react native so this one checks the or it takes care of the native part of um this cross cross platform compatibility so it, it allows smooth transition when it comes to the animation side so um, let's assume you are testing my package on an iOS device. How the animation is going to pop up is going to be different from an Android device. So when you set this to true, it takes care of that. And um, this is the main section. So this is the modal component from React Native. Um, so the modal component and just some props from the API. And I use a keyboard avoiding view to do some checks. So this code is pretty understandable. And I believe in a link to the GitHub um, repository that houses or has this code base. And I'll make some modifications. I'll add some comments to it so um, you understand what is going on here. All right, sure. And these are of my app dot um, js. I imported the Sony model and I exported it. So when I export it this way, people can then install using um however i need my package name so it's react native sony model so it's going to be more like npm install react native sony model and you can then import my package just like so okay so there's an issue that comes with this okay so the issue is when i go to my github repo and i in the readme side you see that with regards to the imports it's import sony model from react native slash app so this is because i am the main entry of my app here is app.js so it might not work unless you add a slash app directory so to fix this or to just make it um, import sony model from i'm just showing you another way so import sony model from um, react native sony model without a slash app you'd have to go into your node models and go into your expo um folder where is expo ebcd efg expo should be somewhere up here um so help me find expo okay sorry so instead of my expo folder and i go into the app entry so here i can specify so i can do import say app from slash slash and i name it index so when you leave it as index.js so you make your app entry index.js you don't need to add the slash app directory okay 
so i can just register the index this one so to do that um i'll simply have to create an index.tx file so and uh, import an index.tx file and just do this import of the modal just that i would have to change it inside of my expo directory okay so i did that at first and i just removed it just to make my a bit different which is enough and there's an example side here how to use the modal so um we set some states to check its visibility and some unclose and open modal functions and identify up okay so i'm going to show you a live demonstration of how i did this so i promise a demo so i'm going to be um showing you how to use this package so first and foremost i'm going to import um sony model from sony react Native model i explain why there's a slash app and once you do, I'm going to add some states to check um, the modal visibility. Then you're going to add a function to um, which is called close modal, which is going to set the visibility to false. And once you're done with that, I'm going to import the modal and pass in the props. So there are lots of props. When I come in, I do control space bar. I see a lot of props here. So I'm going to run the app, but currently at the time of recording, I have an issue with npm. npm JS is, isn't working. But then it's not working. And I'll run the app inside of my main um, modal um, component folder. Okay, so you see when I try to access the npmjs.com, it doesn't work. And when I try um, trying to log into my account, it doesn't work. So let me show you. The modal is on npm. So when I do npmjs, so I'll be leaving a link to that in the description. So it's npmjs.com slash package slash this. All right, so great. All right, so. Um, my project is running so currently i'll be running it inside of my main modal food as i said so this i just clear the inputs okay so i've popped in the modal components when i click on open modal you see slides up because of the animation type when i change this to um, feed and save let's try okay so you see it fades in nicely because of the um that type i specified which is this type so the use native driver okay which is from the um, animated api instead of react native okay so great so let me show you so once you are done creating this um this is how you go ahead and this is what you do let me make this bigger so first and foremost um you do npm version patch so this will set the current version of your package automatically by npm so it's going to give you something like 0 .0, 0 .0 0.0.0.1 once you're done then you run this command which is npm good thank you github copilot this is why i like ai you're going to actually you're going to run this command if it is your first time pushing a package to npm but if it isn't your first time so so after this the next time you make any change you just run um you just run npm um, publish so great so that's it and your package is then pushed to npm so you can access it on npm and others can use it all right guys thank you so all right guys so thanks so much for sticking with me to the end and um, i'm glad you love this one don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment too i know what you think about this video um, um be sure to subscribe please like this video and there are more videos coming up Bye.